Hello and welcome to the Dave Gage Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson baseball coach Dave Gage. Coach, um, the weather's kind of wreaked havoc your schedule a little bit, but you finally completed the um, both the Hood and the Albright series. So, um, you know, obviously both conference series. So kind of take us through first Hood and then um, the Albright series last weekend. Sure, it's been a while since we've talked, <laughs> so we got a lot to talk about here today. Um, Hood series, you know, we played a doubleheader last Monday. Um, and I thought we, we didn't really play great. Last time we talked, we were playing so well. We were yeah. coming off a little five-game win streak um, there. But, you know, we just, we're just we just lacking a little inconsistency right now. Um, so so I think we had, we had 19 walks or something like that in a doubleheader. Not very good. Not going to win any level of baseball, <laughs> especially the, the level that we're playing at. Um, so that was Monday. Um, then the Albright game, the kid hit, you know, their their best hitter, Yordi, their number three hitter, hit two home runs. Um, tough luck. Kid th- our guy threw a good pitch. Their kid just m- made a better swing. Yeah. Um, we come back, we get the, you know, the first game on Saturday with a with a great pitching performance by James. Um, and the second game, you know, we just didn't didn't get off to a good start. So it was just a it was a very inconsistent week, and uh, I think that happens when you go back in the gym, go outside, back in the yeah. gym. So we just got to find it um, and get back to where we were a few weeks ago. Yeah, and then obviously you played Hood again on Monday, and were able to you know get out to a strong start in that one and get that victory to you know salvage one game out of that series. I'm very proud of our guys for Monday. I mean, I mean we lost twenty one to four on Saturday. Um, not not an easy way to come back when after Easter. So obviously we don't practice on Sunday, and you got to show up and go play a team that was receiving votes and, and just a quality opponent. I think they were eighteen and four when we went and played them, and you know we jump on them in the first, get two, same thing in the second. We executed bunts that day. We stole bases. We played the game the way we want to play the game, which is what we did not do last week. So really really proud of our guys for Monday's performance. Yeah. So obviously, um, and you played uh, Salisbury non-conference game. Um, got some different guys in, and um, you know, just another chance to get out and compete. Yeah, sure, and that and that's what we want to do. I mean, Salisbury we know is is a very uh, great program, great tradition. Um, you know, so for us, it's it, we got to see where we want to be in our program. Right. You know, a program that is perennial top twenty-five year in and year out, and that's where we want to be. I, I think that we do have the talent to be able to compete with them. Our best versus their best. Uh, they played better than we did yesterday, uh, and that's that's a chance for us to get back to the drawing board at practice the next two days before we go into Lev Valley this weekend. Yeah, um, and just transition, like you said, the conference series this weekend, Lebanon Valley, you've got a couple days of practice, then you have a single game here on Friday and scheduled for a doubleheader on Saturday. We'll see what the uh, weather brings, but, um, you know, obviously another chance to, you know, go out and, you know, hopefully win the series and, you know, stay right in the hunt. That's the biggest thing right now is just that we have to take advantage of every day. We've talked about it so much in our program of win the day and improve each day. And again, going back to last week, that's what we were disappointed in is that we didn't improve the way that we wanted to. Um, and, and now we get two days of practice, which, again, when you get backed up in schedule is, you know, you're, you're dealing with the recovery time and uh, making sure your pitcher's arms are good. We can really practice the next two days yep. and, and really improve to, to get ready for the weekend. And uh, you know, we're not worried about the playoffs at this point. I mean, we still got four series left. It's right. way too early. It's just win the game that's in front of you and take advantage of each each and every day. Yeah, like you said, those two days of practice, obviously, chance for improvement. Obviously, you know, the wins and losses will take care of themselves as long as you continue to get better. Sure will. And, and when we play our best, we compete with anybody. I mean, we've seen that. We've played with Frostburg. We've played with, you know, some teams. Our, we've played with Widener, who is a very good team. Um, when we play well, we can yeah. play, you know, we beat York. We've played some really good teams uh, when we've played well, but it's now can we do it every single day. Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, that's part of being an elite level program of where we want to be. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, we wish you the best of luck both on the field and hopefully with the uh, forecast, and uh, we'll chat next week. Thanks, Greg. All right, for Dave Gage, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Gage Show.